Welcome to another review and for this episode we are going to examine a regular hexagon and its properties. Just make sure for this question that you know the area for that regular hexagon and that a regular hexagon has six equilateral triangles inside of it. Well with that knowledge you can easily do this question so let's go. The figure below shows a regular hexagon tangent to a circle O at six points. And that's what that's talking about. If the area of that hexagon is six root three, the circumference of the circle O is which one of these choices? To find the circumference of circle O, we're going to need this radius right here. And let me show you how to get that. First, we need the area for a regular hexagon. And a regular hexagon is a hexagon with six equal sides and six equal angles. Formula for that area is going to be three square root of 3 over 2 times a squared where a is going to represent one side of that hexagon we're gonna set that equal to our given statement right here 6 root 3 because that's the area from here we just got to solve for a and the first thing I would do is multiply both sides by 2 thirds and that's gonna cancel these off now I'm left with root 3 times a squared equals 2 thirds times 6 is just gonna get me 4 with the square root of 3 divide both sides by the square root of 3 I'm gonna be left with a squared equals 4 and we need the positive answer for this because we're dealing with length so the side length of that regular hexagon is going to equal 2 so we're gonna change that now I know that that equals 2 one of the properties of a regular hexagon is that it creates six equilateral triangles inside of that shape meaning that all of these are going to equal 2 and this radius that I drew there is gonna cut that length right here in half so that length right here is going to be one. Second thing is that each one of these triangles right here are going to be a 30 60 90. I'm not going to explain that proof and if you're curious you could just look that up. In a 30 60 90 it has this special relationship where the one across 30 is going to represent x, the one across 90 is 2x, and the one across 60 which is our radius is going to be x root 3. Well in this question we know that x is going to equal 1 the one across 30 meaning that our radius is going to be 1 times the square root of 3 or just the square root of 3. Now that we know the radius, we can answer this question. We're trying to look for the circumference. Circumference is 2 times pi times r and we got a radius right there. So now we got 2 times pi times my radius, which is square root of 3, which is going to match letter choice C. I thought that was a good review. Hopefully you did too. And if it was, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.